I'd like to spend a moment explaining BSA and orders that are given per meter squared because most students don't have a clue why they are doing these problems and simply try to remember what operation they need to do to get their answer. So as a comparison, I would like to show you not only why you do these types of problems, but also a reference that will help you remember what to do. If I were going to calculate a drug dose that was ordered as 50 milligrams per kilogram for each dose, I would convert this pound weight for both of these patients, mm -hmm. multiply the 50 milligrams times the kilogram weight to get the dose. In this operation, this is a normal thing because this drug is not dependent on the size of the patient and simply weight is enough. But with some drugs, such as heparin, this can be a very dangerous thing. If this were heparin and it were based solely on weight, both patients would receive the exact same dose. That's a problem if patient A is 610 and patient B is 411 because those two patients have completely different body types and metabolisms. So for those patients, we use a method of calculation that considers both height and weight to come up with a metered squared number that represents the surface area of their body. So when you have a question that reads 50 milligram per meter square, simply replace where you would normally use kilograms with the number that's representing your height and weight, and the operation is the same. So you simply multiply the number that you get off of the body surface area chart as your metered square number rather than a kilogram weight. I hope that clears that up a little.